Jonathan. This is Breathe and Focus. It's a 30 minute class to work on breath techniques, uh, concentration techniques, and just beginning to control and understand our five senses and how this all is a part of the beautiful mechanics of how we find peacefulness and tranquility in the mind through accessing the breath and understanding how our nervous system works. So please take a comfortable seat. There's a couple things you'll want for this class. You'll want to have a comfortable cushion that you can sit upon. And you may even wish to have um, like some sort of covering for the legs to keep you warm. We'll start with a couple of spinal exercises to warm up the spine. So I'm in a comfortable seated, easy position like this. We're going to work on walking the hands forward. Maybe you come down to the elbows or perhaps you even put the center of your forehead down onto the mat. You're here for a couple of rounds of breath. Relaxing the mind. And allow, allowing yourself to settle. Inhale, walk your hands in and bring your right hand off to the side where you can lean a bit to the side. Opening up the outer part of the hip. You may be able to take the elbow down or you may be able to bring the shoulder all the way towards the knee. You're here for three breaths. So you're deepening that breath in a way that feels natural and comfortable for you. Then inhale to come up. Exhale, bow forward once again, forehead down. Relax all the tension in the mind, tension in the spine, or tension in the hips. Now inhale to come up in time for side two. So bring your left hand off to the side. Bring your right hand to your hip as you side bend. Or perhaps you can bring, you know, elbow down. Or perhaps you can bring arm across and then shoulder to kneecap. And you're here for three breaths. Another deep full breath and then on an inhale help yourself up okay last time at center walk the hands forward forehead to the ground two more breaths And now inhale to come up. So we'll sit comfortably. Uh, you may wish, as I mentioned, to cover up the lap so that you're warm and comfortable. We'll be here for a while um, for the duration of our class. So please close your eyes. Rest your hands comfortably. Picture in your mind the shape of the brain, the gray matter that composes and comprises of the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. Visualize that intelligent gray matter moving into spinal cord and all the way down to the tip of the tailbone. So there's an axis of deep intelligence. And allow that to direct and guide your deeper breathing. So the lower belly begins to move more clearly as it inflates and deflates with your breath rhythm. And the same for the waistline. It's also responding to that elastic quality of the breathing. And 
bring that awareness into lower ribs, kidneys, diaphragm. So the lower ribs are inflating and deflating as the breath moves. Now see and feel that awareness through the chest. As the breath rhythm is moving you, the underside of the sternum begins to lift. As the chest becomes more buoyant and full, And now please drop your chin to the shelf of your chest and with your hands, reach around to give yourself a hug, reaching for the opposite shoulder blade as the head is bowed forward. Breathe into the space between your shoulder blades, right in the center of the upper spine. Hold yourself dearly. Hug yourself sweetly. Breathe with fullness and ease. And now carefully release. Place your hands back onto the lap, onto your thighs. You're witnessing these effects that arise from this three-dimensional full body yogic breathing. With every inhale, your diaphragm drops towards the digestive and sexual organs. And with every exhale, the diaphragm will lift toward the heart and the lungs. As you notice yourself being relaxed, then look upon the top of the inhale where there's a slight pause before the next exhale. And observe the pause at the end of the exhale before the next inhale. We'll work on retention of inhale. So with your next breath in, at the top of the inhale, please hold and retain the breath. And exhale completely. Again, inhale as you're ready. Hold the breath at the top, chin to chest. Exhale completely. Once more, inhale the breath, hold and retain, chin to chest, spine is long, exhale and release. Return to natural breathing. If possible, breathing in and out through the nostrils. And perhaps breathing in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. And so now slowly open the eyes. We'll work the diaphragm and the abdominal wall a little more deeply with an exercise called Kapalabhati. This is a vigorous exhale where you're using the abdominal wall and the natural lift of the diaphragm, then the following inhale, it's natural. It takes care of itself. So practice five times on your own, drawing the navel straight back to the spine, relaxing on the inhale, and then a quick 
on the exhale, relaxed inhale, and three more times. Return to natural breathing. This will help you tap into the movement of the abdomen and the diaphragm together to create harmony in the mechanics of the breathing. So we're going to speed this breath practice up a little bit, but the emphasis being upon using the abdomen, using the diaphragm, as opposed to simply using your nostrils to use um, uh, the movement of the breath, to direct the movement of the breath. So we want it to originate down low. We'll do two sets of 20 rounds each. So place your hands in a relaxed position and establish that three-dimensional yogic breathing. Be at ease with yourself and within yourself. Press down into your sits bones, lengthen your spine, and notice that gives you a bit more space to engage the abdominal wall and the diaphragm on the exhale. We will now move into 20 rounds of Kapalabhati. So please take in a full deep breath and a long exhale and breathe in halfway for 20 rounds. And nice deep inhale in. Hold the breath at the top. Bring the chin to the shelf of the chest. Close left nostril and exhale right. Again, inhale the breath. Full deep breath at the top. Hold and retain. Chin to chest. Close left nostril. Exhale right. And then sit quietly with normal breathing. And now another 20 rounds. Begin with a full deep breath in. A long exhale out. And breathe in halfway, 20 rounds. And now nice deep inhale in. Hold and retain the breath, chin to chest. Close left nostril, exhale right. Again, full deep breath in. Hold, retain, close left, exhale right. Sit with normal breathing. Now from within you, visualizing again, the brain and its intelligence, and the finger of that intelligence moving down the spinal cord. Find within your mind's eye, the floor of the pelvis. Find within your mind's eye, the sacrum and the lower belly.
Find within your mind's eye the lumbar spine and the navel center. Find within your mind's eye the lower ribs and the kidneys at the back of the spine that align with the solar plexus or the upper belly area on the front body. Visualize that center. Now moving upward, find in your mind's eye the dorsal spine and as it aligns with the center of the chest. And find within your mind's eye the very base of the cervical spine and as it aligns with the center of the throat. Within the inner eye, find the back of the head and the very center of the mind between the two hemispheres of the brain, about four inches behind the center of eyebrows. And then find within your mind the very crown of the head. Seeing it from inside the mind. And feeling this sweet and harmonious alignment these powerful and deep energetic centers that are within the spine and that are along and within the torso. And now inhale to the pelvic floor and exhale to crown of head. Inhale to pelvic floor and exhale to crown of head. Tapping into a small circuit of energetic flow from mind through spinal center to pelvic floor and returning to crown of head. Now with your next inhale, breathe, inhale to the crown of head and exhale to the pelvic floor. Inhale to crown of head, exhale pelvic floor. Inhale to the crown, exhale to the pelvis. And now inhale the breath, a nice full deep breath. At the top, hold the breath, retain the breath. This time, closing right nostril and exhaling left. A 
Again, inhale both nostrils, hold and retain the breath, close the right nostril and exhale left. Another round, inhale through both nostrils, hold and retain the breath, close right, exhale left. And sit with normal breathing. Now slowly begin to flutter and open the eyes, finding something that the gaze can stay focused upon for an open eye meditation. As you are gazing, there's no thought upon the spot that you are gazing upon. but that you're more aware of the backdrop of the breathing and the rise and fall of the chest. Maintain the eyes focus. Do not allow the eyes to dart around and instead feel the breathing. It's like a beautiful backdrop, like background music. It's a beautiful way to connect to the observer, the one within you who's seeing and witnessing your life. Two more breaths. And now move your gaze to your hands and bring the soles of your hands together the palms of the hands together and rub them in a way that's vigorous, getting to warm the palms of the hands. Close the eyes and place the palms on the orbitals of the eyes. Close the fingers, create darkness for the sight. Closing any cracks or gaps and you may wish to open the eyes, you may witness light. You may look into the darkness. And now carefully release. So we'll conclude with um, Nadi Shodhana, which is an exercise of breathing that stimulates these two hemispheres of the brain. And we use our hands in um, a particular way for this breath. It's the alternate nostril breathing. And so we'll use the right hand. You're gonna bring your index finger and your middle finger together. And you're gonna bring your ring finger and pinky finger together. And the index and middle finger come to the palm of the hand so that you wind up with the thumb out to the side, and then the pinky and the ring finger out to the side. So this is gonna to come to the face, and you'll be using the right thumb to close right nostril when the time is right. You'll be using ring finger and pinky to close the left nostril. We're gonna to endeavor to sit up tall. You may wish to bring the chin to the shelf of your chest. That's helpful to rest um, the arm. Otherwise, you'll have the arm up in the air. So you wanna do the one that is comfortable for you. 
with Nadi Shodhana, what we'll do is, is you'll take in a breath, we'll close the right nostril, and you'll exhale out the left. Then you'll inhale left nostril, close, and exhale right. Inhale right nostril, close, and exhale left. Inhale left nostril, close, and exhale right. Please close your eyes and continue on your own, inhaling right, close, and exhale left. Inhale left, close, and exhale right. Continue in this way. Breathing in and out through the left, you stimulate the right brain. Breathing in and out on the right, stimulates left brain. Continue breathing in this way, keeping your focus upon the belly so that the abdomen and the diaphragm are what's moving the breath. So that you're not over efforting through the nostrils or with the hands. Continue doing the breath in this way, back and forth. And when you get to that place where you are exhaling through the right nostril, conclude the breath. Bring the hands down to the lap and resume normal, natural breathing. Find this deeper vibration within you of your heart beating from this place of heightened sensitivity and awareness. You may be able to connect with the beat of life. Maybe you feel it in the hands or the feet. Perhaps it's a, a gentle thud in the chest. And perhaps you notice that heartbeat within the ears, deep in the head. Connecting to the vibration of life. Now bring the hands together in front of the heart. Drop the chin towards the shelf of the chest. And with eyes closed, just reverently bow the head forward, letting the head and the inner gaze rest on the heart center. To be a human is to be a beautiful island of excellence and potential.
practicing breath and focus allows us to understand the mechanics of the mind. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all sentient beings be happy and free from suffering. May they be free from the root causes of suffering. May we learn to see the divine in all things, pure and impure, aware and unaware. May we strive diligently, diligently towards our own inner light awakening to the, our essence of our true nature. Please take in a full deep breath, a long exhale, and a deep breath in for Om. Oh. 